Well, you've heard of Samson and Hercules. They both brought a lot of folks to their knees. And throughout history, their legends have grown and grown. Then there was Tarzan and Superman and Captain Marvel with the cool Shazam, but they weren't even in it compared to the blue cyclone. In a little bar one Wednesday night, me and old Bill was about half tight comparing Dolly Parton to Lana Turner and Liz. When Bill winked at me and downed his beer and he said, Hossie, ain't nothing happening in here. Let's go to the Rastlin matches where the action is. Well, I'd never seen the matches before and when we reached the arena door, the crowd was already backed up out in the street. People were pushing and shoving like cattle. Just getting in line was a heck of a battle. We had to fight like hell, but we finally got ringside seats. Then we bought a program when we passed through the door. Went to section D, seats three and four, and about that time the announcer stepped in the ring. He said, tonight's the greatest card ever been signed. We got a tag team match that'll blow your mind. And they lowered the lights and the crowd began to scream. He introduced the spider from parts unknown with his trusty partner, the Blue Cyclone. They were taking on a team that never had been beat. Well, the ref checked them over and the rules were explained and somebody hollered, the spider's got a chain and in come the vulture with his manager, Sneaky Pete. Then they rang the bell and all hell broke loose. My legs were shaking like a rubber goose. I'd never seen anything like this, not even in the war. Cyclone put the vulture in an airplane spin, then he body slammed him and he did it again and I swear I didn't see how that cat could take much more. There was a little old lady right next to me, why if she was a day she was 83, but she raised more sand than any man I've ever seen. She screamed and cussed in the Cyclone's face till it carried her out like a basket case, then the police came and formed a circle around the ring. Then on the second row, up jumped a man, and I see a pocket knife in his hand. He hollered, let me in there, and I'll mop up the floor. His wife reached up and grabbed his sleeve, and I saw him breathe a sigh of relief. And then he sat down, and he never did say no more. It was right about then, in the thick of things, that my buddy Bill threw a chair in the ring. And that's when I knew that we'd better head for the door. Cause I saw that cyclone looking at us And he rubbed his head and started to cuss And I knew if he caught us he'd break Bill's neck for sure Where we parked wasn't very far And Bill ran so fast he beat me to the car And locked the doors and wasn't about to let nobody in And I turned around and the cyclone was there And he said, hey punk, if I got your chair And he'd look in his eyes, I knew that this was the end and he jumped up real high in the air And both feet caught me with a flying mare And I saw stars when I hit that hard concrete It broke both my arms and three of my ribs It's the closest thing I've come to being killed That's the last thing I remember before he put me to sleep Put that sleeper on me You know I ought to slam Bill <laughs> Locking the car doors like that to fight the cyclone by myself. Huh. I ain't a wrestler. I'll tell you one thing. Cyclone's lucky I was drinking. Hmm. Soon as I get well, he's had it. I'll get him if it's the last thing I ever do.